Hello everyone! Welcome to the first video of the course in which we will be making the Blade of the Ancients from scratch using only Blender. This is a course made especially for beginners and, as I said, this course will be going over the very foundations of sculpting, modeling and other awesome features Blender has to offer. In this video, I will show you how to download Blender and I will introduce you to its basic features and we will learn as we progress. So, in other words, if you feel stuck and don't understand something, feel free to watch the video or the course again. So, first things first, we are going to search Blender in Google and we'll go to the page called blender.organization. There we will be represented with the splash screen, which is this amazing little grandpa. The current version of Blender is version 3.4 and I will be working in that version. So now you want to click on the download Blender option and here you will be presented with different versions. So you have a version for Windows, for Mac, Linux, and you also have a Steam version. The difference between other versions and the Steam version is that the Steam version updates. So if you're working on a certain project and the Blender version on Steam updates, you might run into some glitches. So I'm going to download the Windows version, which I also prefer. And you're going to be taken to this page where it says that you are breathtaking. And yes, Blender is completely free. And now it depends on your internet speed. It might take a few minutes or seconds to download it. And once it's done, you're going to show it in folder and you're going to click on it in order to begin the installation. You want to click next. Here you have the license, which you can read if you have time. And then you just want to accept the terms, click on next. Here you choose a location in which Blender will be stored. See, this is fine for me. Then you're ready to install and you're going to have to wait a little bit more. And after that, you're going to, yes, if you want to make changes, yes, because it's necessary. And then you're going to have a Blender shortcut automatically on your desktop. This is kind of exciting. <laughs> I've done a lot of Blender a long time ago. It's good to do it again. Then finish. X and here it is. Blender 3.4. For me, this screen is a little different because I have already done some projects before. But you're probably going to have sort of setup window, just leave it on default. Then you're going to go into general file. Welcome to Blender, this is it. Okay, at first you might be like, wow, there are so many things. There's no way I'm, I'm ever going to learn that. Don't worry, it might look overwhelming at first. But in this course, we will learn as we progress. So. If we don't need it at the moment, we will not go through it. Because I know I felt that same way. But now, first things first, I'm going to teach you how to move in the 3D viewport. 3D viewport is this. It's the space in which we see our object. So, I'm also going to enable the screencast keys so you can follow along and press the same buttons as I press. Then I'm going to hide the window and we are ready to begin. So if you want to zoom in on your object, you scroll the wheel up. So scroll the middle mouse to zoom in, scroll the middle mouse down to zoom out, scroll in, scroll out. So zoom in with wheel up, zoom out, we build down. Then, if you want to move around the cube or object, press the middle mouse button and then you can move around freely. 
Okay, well, want the circles so you don't get dizzy. You can move around. So zoom in, zoom out, click the middle mouse button to rotate around the object. Then you also have the option to move in 3D space. Then you press shift and hold the middle mouse button to move in space. So let's repeat. Wheel up, zoom in, wheel down, zoom out. Middle mouse, rotate around the object. Shift middle mouse, move in 3D viewport. Then, as you notice, you have this little gimbal here. So these are axes. It's a way to orientate in 3D space. You have the X, Y, and Z. But for now, those aren't as important. The only thing you need to know now are the views. Views, views in sculpting. So, if, if you press 1 on your keyboard, you have the front view. Number 3 is the side view. And number 7 is the top view of the object. It may look the same because this is a cube and cube is basically the same on all sides, all but one is a front view, three is a side view, and seven is a top view. And feel free to practice until you get a feel for orientating in the 3D viewport. And also I'm going to show you now how to delete this cube or add any other object. So you want to click on the cube and you can see this orange outline. Orange outline means the object is selected. If I click in space, it's not selected. If I click on it, it's selected. Then you can press X on your keyboard and it will give you an option to delete. And then you delete it. Oh my God, but how can I know? Put something, there isn't anything here. Well, if you want to add an object in the scene, I use the shortcut Shift A. It may, it, you can add meshes, curves, and others, but the only thing you need to know is how to add a mesh. So mesh, you can you have cube, we had just a cube, you can add circles, spheres, and other stuff. And you can also add a monkey. So let's repeat. X to delete, shift A to add an object. Let's add a monkey again. And now that we have a monkey, we can see the views a little better. So this is the front view, as you can see, this is the side view of a monkey and the top view of the monkey. The last thing I'm going to mention in this video, because in the next we start with the process, are the modes. So we are currently in the object mode. It's a mode where you can select the objects, delay them or add them. Then if you go here, ignore this thing or any other things, just Focus on the mouse. You have object mode, edit mode, and sculpt mode. We are mainly going to be using these three for the start. So you have edit mode. Here we'll be defining the basic shapes of our sword. And in the sculpting mode, you have different brushes. And we will be going over them as we use them and as we need them. But here we are going to be sculpting, other words, defining our object. And this is it for the first episode. If you like the video, please consider subscribing, sharing, turning on notifications so you don't not miss any of our new courses. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.